Hello friends, welcome back. For topic 2 we are going to learn the tangents. Now we have to draw the tangents by 3 methods. 3 types of tangents we have to draw. First of all what is tangent? If you have any circle and if some line is there which is just intersecting that circle in one point, only one point, then that this line is said as the tangent to this circle. The line should intersect the circle in only one point or in other words we say that that line is just touching the circle. It touches the circle. So it is a tangent. Now the first method you have to draw the tangent to the circle passing through the any given point on the circle. So suppose this is my circle center O I say and any point P is here. Now you have to draw the tangent passing through point P, how will you draw? First of all, let us imaginarily we draw this line. Let us say this is the line, this is the point P. Okay. Now if this line is touching the circle, in that case it makes the right angle to the radius or to the diameter of the circle. Okay, so we are going to use this property. So how will we proceed? Very simple, we will draw a circle which will be given radius. We will draw a circle first with the center O. Then suppose some point is given on the circle. Then we will extend this line. Okay, we want to draw a tangent at this point P. Correct? Now, if you take any line, any point, I will say take OX. What I will do? I will take this radius that OP and PX will be same. So, now it is very simple. I want to draw perpendicular to line which is passing through point on the given line. In this case, why I told you to take distance OP and PX same? Because so this P will automatically become midpoint. So now you have point P with you. You need only one more, one more point. How will you draw the uh, perpendicular through point P? Very simple. In compass, take a distance more than half from here and you will get one arc. Draw one arc from O, cut that arc, you will get the second point. So join those two points and extend the line that will be your perpendicular to line OX which is nothing but the tangent to this line. So by putting compass on X and O you will get arc somewhere, cutting arc somewhere, second point you will get and so you will get the tangent to this circle which is the right angle. Okay, Don't forget to show arrow here because you have extended this line. When you are solving on the paper, you have to write a construction also. Number one, extend line OP. Okay. Take a distance OP equal to PX. Draw a line perpendicular to line OX passing through point P. And connect these two points. So two arcs will be there. Your two arcs will be there somewhere. Okay, you have to write the construction also, but very short. Don't write a big essay. I am taking this and doing that and doing that. No, nothing like that. Okay, in short steps, whatever you are doing, write the construction. So even if your construction is not perfectly matching, if you have written all the points, you will get marks. Correct. So this is the first method of drawing the. tangent to the circle but here we have made use of center of the circle that means we have extended that line that means center of the circle is used now we have to draw the tangent to the circle without using its center that means if circle is there you can draw this circle of any radius anything and now suppose 
you have to draw the tangent to this circle without using center let us see how to draw that this is a rough figure okay theoretical figure so first of all i will draw a triangle in the circle if they say that uh, draw the tangent to this circle passing through point p so taking point p as one vertices of the triangle i will construct a triangle okay now let us say that i have constructed this tangent also okay this tangent also i have constructed my line is not touching uh, but just consider it is touching okay now you have to recall the theorem which we have learned in the second chapter circle alternate segments alternate segments i will not confuse you in the names i will just tell you one thing that this arc is common for your this angle and this angle now these two are the angles in alternate segment that means this segment is common for this angle also and this angle also so these two angle must be equal so here in this case you are not made use of the center of the circle so how will you draw first draw the circle definitely they will tell you that draw the circle of radius 4.5 5 centimeters but don't use the center and draw the tangent to the circle so here we are going to use the alternate segment angles in alternate segments are equal so these two angles are equal so when the circle is drawn point is given let us draw this figure again as a construction so your circle is given you are drawn your circle okay some 5.6 or 5 centimeters something angle this point p is given okay now what you will do you will draw any chord any chord and take a, any two point draw a triangle your worn vertices must be this p correct now you have to draw the angle suppose this is uh, q and r now you have to draw this angle and this angle correct so how will you draw the congruent angle so first of all take a compass put a pointer on q and make a arc same distance put on p and make a arc correct now now what you will do put a pointer here take this much distance and from here just cut this arc here so now you have got two points for this line point p and this point just connect those two points and make a line so your line will go through like this and so this angle and this angle are equal so this is angles in the alternate segment okay so by using this property you have to draw the tangent to the circle without using its center i hope it is very clear okay here you have to draw the congruent angle to this one ray is given second ray you have to draw the base point or the starting point you know and you have to draw the congruent angle then extend that line that will be the tangent of the circle the third line the third type of the tangent construction is some circle is given with center o now you have some uh, point outside p is given now you have to draw tangent to the circle through point p if the point is outside the circle there can be two tangents can be drawn two tangents can be drawn to this circle through this point p one is your this one upper one and this one is lower one two tangents can be drawn so if the point p is outside then you have to draw two tangents now how we will draw this we are going to use the inscribed angle theorem here and you know that the angle inscribed in the semicircle is 90 degrees so in this case what we have to do 
now you have got o and p two points you have got now forget about this original circle forget about this now this op as a as a diameter op as a diameter you have to draw a circle again forget about the original circle now okay smaller circle forget about this now we are going to draw a big circle with op as diameter that means first of all you have to draw the perpendicular bisector of op which will come somewhere here suppose this is i say is r okay now taking rp as a radius you have to draw this big circle okay again don't look at my figure i'm just drawing by hand so wherever these two cutting points are there if i join these points what will happen this is the diameter and this is the point anywhere on the semicircle and angle inscribed in semicircle is 90 degrees that means this angle is 90 degrees but isn't it the radius of the smaller circle and this line is 90 degrees to the radius of the smaller circle that means that is the tangent to the circle the same case is on opposite side if i join this point now this is a semicircle this is angle subscribed in uh, angle inscribed in semicircle and so this is 90 degrees so this is the tangent so how we will draw this we are going to draw first a circle whatever circle they will give what a dimension they will give they will give some point outside the circle suppose they said at a 10 10 centimeters away from the circle so mark point a somewhere 10 centimeter now you have to draw perpendicular bisector to this see this point is not going to be used this point of intersection is useless for us many students do mistake by taking this point as a center of the circle bigger circle no it is not that this point is useless for us we are interested in point o and point a two end points and if that is the radius of your bigger circle that means you will draw perpendicular bisector to this by taking proper upper and down arcs and you draw the perpendicular bisector so you will get the this uh, center c i'll say okay and then by taking ca as a radius okay we will draw one circle and one complete circle will draw we'll get two points d and f so just connect fa and da and you will get the two tangents to this circle don't look at my figure just watch how i constructed it okay because i'm drawing figures by hand so this is very simple so based on these three types we learned three types the first is a single tangent to the circle very simple draw radius to the radius draw line perpendicular we have already learned that drawing a line perpendicular to the segment through the point on the segment. So at the end point you draw a perpendicular, so it's a normal tangent. If you don't want to use center, then first draw a triangle and then use angles in alternate segments. So two angles are same, so you have to draw the congruent angle there and it is drawn. And the third is drawing two tangents to circle through point outside it very simple you have to draw the bigger circle with that point and original center and the cutting points the point of intersections are the two points you have to connect those with p and you can draw two tangents to circle again don't erase the construction lines construction lines are very important after completing the figure you have to give names to each point if the distance is given give the distance 
give the unit also if 5.6 centimeters write the centimeters if some angle is given write the angle and at last darken your main figure that's all and write the answer also this these lines is a tangent to the circle and how you are constructed better to write the construction in just points so friends let us go to the 3.2 exercise 3.2 where we are going to draw the tangents to the circle by different methods thank you very much